Hi there, this is Dandelion Song. Thanks for watching, thanks for coming back. I, this is just my finishing, my part two decode of um, L is for the way you look at me and I hope you like it. I ha This video and the last one I'm making with royalty free music so I hope that you can see this in Australia and Germany and other places. If anybody's having trouble seeing it, I would like to know so that I can adjust my strategy. Um, also on the, I'm running out of time to talk, sorry. So I'm distracted. Um, also on, oh. Okay, I can still talk. All right, so also on me, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the four videos before that, I tried to fix the Who music so that the computer wouldn't recognize it. And I don't know if I succeeded. So I'm curious about that too. I think probably some people could hear that I put, I put shamanic music um, underneath the Who music. And I was just hoping that, you know, that would let the Who music go through. But um, that's okay. It doesn't have to always be who, who music. So, all right. Well, on with the show. Hope you guys like this. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. I just figured out how to access my messages. So if I ignored you for a while, I didn't mean to. I just, I wasn't getting notifications on that. And so, and I think some people are actually giving me messages and they actually aren't showing up because I, someone told me in the comments that they were messaging me. And I, when I finally figured out how to find the messages, I didn't see their comments there. So I have a feeling that some people aren't getting through on the messages and I've noticed, depending on your connections and uh, your astuteness, I've noticed that YouTube seems to block people who have answers from talking with each other. So that could be why we can't message each other. So just wanted to let you know, I am not intentionally ignoring anybody. So if I'm missing something, just help me figure it out. All right, love you guys, on with the show. Here we are back with uh, part two of L is for the way you look at me um, by Nat King Cole. Please see part one. Gosh, I don't think I went over Nat King Cole's numbers again because I did this before in another video. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find my page. Okay, well, Nat King Cole, he has a 35 and then he has the word king. Like Nat is 35, which is the I, which is what I was talking about in the last video here. And then his name... His middle name is King, and then and Cole is also 35. So, so he's it's kind of like he's the the King between the two eyes, which is kind of the Christ reference because um, Christ was crucified between the two eyes. And I, I kind of want to look into more about how Nat died because I don't think that was natural. But um, anyway, that's kind of the short on Nat King Cole, his name. And he was used as a deliverer of code. And he might have been born on a special day, which would make him have a special vibration, would make his voice have a special vibration. And that would be why they would use him to deliver their code. All right, well, I have to, um, I have to come back. I hear something. I have to go check on something. Okay, I'll be right back. We are back. Looks like it's not focusing, but I think it is. It's just my eyes. Um, v is very, very extraordinary. Well, V, I've um, said in other videos, is the sign that encodes the 144,000 twice. Um, okay, I have to do this with my right hand. But then it casts, oh, it doesn't cast a shadow. It's okay. Okay, so I'll just draw this out for you. Okay, so I'm making it wider. I made it too wide. There's your V. You drop a line in there. This is 14.4 and this is 14.4. And I learned this from studying ancient jewelry that's encoded in the old times when it was more dangerous to talk about the truth. And I think it's still dangerous today. But in the old days, they would encode their jewelry with the truth. And then they would just, by wearing that, they would communicate with each other. Okay. V is very, very 28. We talked about that before. Now, very is interesting because if you look at the Aramaic versions um, and also some of the texts that they attribute to Yahshua, he uses the word verily a lot. Verily, verily. And that's the translation. And I'd like to try to find out what that is. But it has it has a, a nine and a twelve. It has a it has another um, I guess a raw unit in there. 
So that would be an 89 here. If you added the, the IL into this, it would be an 89. But here if we have very, very extraordinary, well, this is 140 together. So V is very, very extraordinary. Well, what if they are talking about these 144,000, right? The elect. So extra, X is 29, that's an 11. That reduces it by Pythagorean to 11. The digital root is 11. Tra, um, actually TR is 39. And then if you add, I'm sorry, I hope I did this right. Oh, it's 20. Okay, so TR, okay, so that's 8, 28. That's 38 plus the one is the 39. Okay. Hold on, I gotta figure this out. I think I might have made a mistake here. 